Hey guys and welcome back. So it's been a wee minute since my last video. I've just been kind of prepping and trying to save stuff like that for going away to Croatia. Oh my gosh, I get so smiley when I say it because I'm so excited. Um, I can't believe I'm going on holiday. Like, I just can't believe it. Just can't believe it. So I've just come back from having lunch with the fam and. Um, I just thought I'd do like a video of like pre-parking. My timekeeping skills are not the greatest. Like how I park, sort of like the pre-sort of departure things I need to do. Um, just to kind of keep you guys in the loop. I thought it would maybe be handy if like you're a bit scared of going away. I said it's going to be easier to sort of tell people how to travel with this new sort of normality, I guess you could say. Um, if I've did it myself, so going to Croatia, I guess, is a bad step. But I'm so glad it's Croatia because I've always wanted to island hop and do things in Croatia. I'm very, very excited! <laughs> so guys, I've just been to do my test and I'm negative! Thank God for that. By a chance, I was positive and I wasn't going to get a go. But um, no, I was negative and it was just one that you put up your nose. Um, quite simple enough, really. They've just got like a bit just before like check-in. You just go into a wee room, do the test, wait for 15 minutes and then that's you. However, my first test actually came back with nothing. So she came out and I was just like, oh my God, she's going to tell me it's positive. She's just like, no, it didn't work. I was like, oh... So I definitely bear that in mind if you are obviously travelling to try and book it, like go to the airport like a good hour before if yours comes back like inconclusive. So just make sure of that. But it was really easy, quick, simple. I paid fifty pounds for mine, which is quite expensive. I know when you're abroad they're only like twenty euros, but here unfortunately they are dear. I went to Inverness. In, ugh, I went to Inverness Airport to do mine because I fly really early tomorrow. And Edinburgh's wouldn't be open yet because I think they open around eight, seven, eight. My flight's at quarter past six, so that wasn't gonna work. So yeah, um, that's kind of it. It is absolutely drenched in rain. My hair's covered, but I'm away to go get it done, so it won't look like this anymore. Oh, how exciting! And then I'll park. This is honestly like the most hectic day ever, and I've got work to do, so. I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can. Take this double shot espresso, drink it, and hope for the best. But yeah, um, just thought I'd give you an update on the test. But yeah, and it was four quid to park for half an hour in this airport. Love it. Love it. Let's <laughs> go. All the mode on. <laughs> Okay, so I was way too tired to speak after that, like literally like a zombie, so basically what happened is when I got to the airport they checked my vaccination and passenger locator form and then from there they gave me like a piece of paper that said my documents had been checked so I didn't have to get them checked again which was really handy and then I got on the plane, landed in Croatia, woo, and um, from there, at the border, they checked my passport alongside my antigen test that I did prior. Again, obviously the rules change, so that might not be needed now, but it was needed then. And then I got the shuttle from the airport to Dubrovnik Centre. So as soon as you come out where you get your bags, and in the arrivals bed there is stand just to your right before going out the door that says express shuttle or gold shell or something, or something fancy and you generally just go there and you can get a ticket there. I think it was about £7, it was really cheap and it just picks you up and drops you off. I think it does go further than Dubrovnik if you're not staying there but obviously I was so. <laughs> so guys I've made it to Croatia. Oh, I'm still filming on my phone because my GoPro still packed away. I check into my hostel at around 3 so hopefully then I'll speak to you more. It's been a hectic day so far and it's so hot. Not like I should be complaining but... <laughs> if 
phone to me. <laughs> well, guys, I think I've phoned Fitz. Got to be the death of me today. <laughs> I am dying. So, guys, I was staying in Hostelina for two nights. The people are really lovely here. They give you a wee map with all the sort of routes and stuff for the buses and things to do and that. They also give you. I was staying in a four bed room with an ensuite. It is a mixed dorm, so I was staying with boys but it was quite an experience they were all really cool and the six bed dorms are actually more modern so i maybe bear that in mind if you are staying there maybe go for the six bed because it's a wee bit more modern it has a balcony and it's great because that's a wee place to socialize with the people in the hostel so I'm just a yeah. way to go on the cable car to go up to the top of the mountain to see the sunset everything seems so quiet like it's, it's just quiet <laughs> oh. But yeah, it's really lovely and it's such a lovely night as well. Like it's so nice. Yesterday I went up to Dubrovnik cable car. <laughs> That's why I say that would be really noisy. Went up to Dubrovnik cable car and I was going to hike down but I accidentally bought a return ticket so I just got the cable car back down as well. And I went through the old town, I went through just during sunset hours and then I went through again at night just to see what it was because everybody says it's so different at night and honestly that place is so unreal. Like it's like... You can't even describe how beautiful it is, like it's just so stunning. And yeah, I had an early night though because I was shattered because I'd only had three hours sleep. So I was absolutely knackered so I just kind of went back to my hostel and like everybody in the hostel was sleeping so they must have all been shattered as well. I like walked in and I was like, oh shit. That's what I did yesterday. I never talked much because I was just so tired, like I was so tired. Like I was like sitting at the fountain eating some ice cream and I was genuinely nearly falling asleep. Like, I was just shattered. So, yeah. Today I'm just away to go see the city walls. It is meant to be quite expensive though, so. Then later on I'm going to sunset sea kayaking for three hours, which should be really good. Do we swim and you go see some caves and go to an island as well, so gosh, it's going to be really hard work, but yeah, I'm really excited for that, that should be so much fun. This place is really something special, like it's 
like see when you're in the old town like you literally feel like you're in another world like it's just so lovely and so beautiful like the buildings everything's so different from back home it's just amazing but yeah i'll leave you there now <laughs> couldn't honestly believe this place. Like the city walls is definitely worth the money. It was 20, well 200 kuna, which is roughly about 20 pounds. So it was quite expensive for just walking, but um, it truly is beautiful and I definitely recommend doing it if you are here. Like I wouldn't miss it out just because of the money. Because the views you get is unreal. You can even do it at sunset, which I think would be even more beautiful. the shelter now. Might just stay here because it's so hot. <laughs> Not used to this in Scotland at all. <laughs> like I genuinely think this is one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to. It's just so medieval looking, like it's just so lovely. It's freaking boiling as well. <laughs> but yeah, I've had a really good couple days here and I really like, I wish I kind of had one more day just to kind of walk about like the beaches and stuff because they're meant to be really pretty. But I'll see how I feel tonight. I might just take a wee wander or I might go in the morning, but getting up early after going kayaking for three hours. I don't think that's going to be a very good idea, Brianna, but it's okay. <laughs> we move. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you updated with what I do, but um, my hostel's average. It's really noisy when someone goes for a shower. I've got like all guys in my, in my room, but they're all similar ages from America, so it's quite easy. They're all really chilled. So I'm going to stay in hostel right now and just obviously make sure that you have either good footwear or you like walking. There is two buses I can get, but if I'm honest, by the time I figured them out, I'd be better off walking. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's like bus 8 and bus 11 or something. She says you have to change, so I just got confused and was just like, oh, I'll just walk. So I've walked every day, which is probably added to my step count. I think it must be on 20,000 steps for today so far. And it's only like half three nearly. Oof, that's a bad day. <laughs>
Pete, you're jumping! Oh my god! seen the footage and everything and it's so much fun and um, met a lot of cool people as well um, however <laughs> there was an odd number so there was like three of us who had never kayaked before and were solo travellers and it was like oh shit uh, and none of them wanted to go myself so I was just like okay, I'll just go myself it'll be fine oh boy the first like 20 minutes I was dying and then after that I think I must have just got used to it but honestly it was mental but it was so beautiful and so worth it. Like, my arms are dying and I'm lugging the freaking backpack. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, to say, I'm not taking any stairs a day because yesterday I had to, so I had to pay my hostel in cash and didn't have enough. So, I had to go try for an ATM. And every ATM I went to wouldn't give me money. And then I had to go through like three flights of stairs. And, like, this isn't even like little flights, this is big flights of stairs. So it was a bit warm all night and then I spoke to a couple of the girls because a couple of the girls that I met when I was kayaking were actually sitting in my hostel and they seemed to jump off the cliff. And I was like, tell myself I wasn't going to do it beforehand, which I'll probably put in, but you know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just a wait head to split now. I've got to grab some breakfast, I think, because I'm starving. So yeah, that's fun. Anyways, but I had a mega good night last night. I'm just paying for it today because my legs are sore. The pebble beaches are honestly lethal. Please take water shoes. <laughs> I know they're ugly, but <laughs> I'm telling you, if I don't have the most toned arms and toned legs by the end of the trip, I swear to God. Because <laughs> I feel like I should. <laughs> I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. 